everyone, welcome to IOTV. That's Information Online Television coming to you from the Hilton Hotel here at the Information Online Conference. And for this video, I'm going to be talking with a good friend, Matt Pasco from Ipswich Libraries. So I'm excited to be able to uh, have this interview with him. Uh, now, Matt, with your uh, previous experience in gaming, IT, uh, film, all of those things before libraries, how do you use that experience to inform what you do at Ipswich Libraries now? Um, what a lovely question. Uh, no, what, what I, uh, I think my, my uh, previous life has, has sort of um, uh, enabled me to sort of bring to, to Ipswich Libraries, but also the library game in general, is to just see the constant um, potential that's just lying around. Um, I think one of the th interesting things about, uh, the, about the offerings that library has, or libraries have is that they haven't been um, optimised by the, sort of the, the, the gravity well of, of like a capitalism, like there are not people out there trying to make uh, innovations to sell more widgets. So a lot of the time, a lot of the innovations that exist out there aren't necessarily applied to uh, to library resources. But uh, but if you take that mindset, where where the goal is, or you're not really interested in making money, but you are really interested in bringing these uh, these resources to the public as as uh, as fulsomely as you can, yeah. uh, then you can apply the same logic and you can apply the same ruthless sort of marketing methodology to to library books and to online video and to ma maker spaces and all that sort of stuff. And uh, and so when you've got that in your head in the first place, when you the idea is to is to um, move more widgets and get more people uh, raise awareness, all that sort of stuff. If that's ingrained because you're used to being a self promoter or trying to make money out of your own labour, then bringing that to the library focus enables you to sort of sort of energise the whole yeah. endeavour quite a bit. Okay, so you get your kind of drive, you get that kind of innovation, that motivation that you would have had in the commercial world, yeah. but without the kind of the necessarily right, yeah. the money part. That's right, and and the feedback. Uh, just comes from uh, uh, like really truly believing in, in the mission of the library, which I really do. And so you don't really care that you know, you're at the end of the day you're, you're not making a million dollars out of getting more people to do this. You, you're just helping the, the, the ancient and awesome endeavour that is the, the public library move forward into, into the next century. All right, well, I mean, that's fantastic and very intriguing. And we're going to put a few links and various uh, comments in the d description below the video. And um, if you have any more questions, maybe they can direct them to you through sure. social media as well. So thank you very much, Matt, for your time. Pleasure. And uh, we actually will, this is part one of two videos. So tune into the next video with Matt Pascoe.